Is y'all twitching? Bro. Get back to twitching for somebody to get to twitching. I plan to get murked like oh, yeah. that. Fact. And get loud that eye, ah, how you did? Yeah, fact, you're right. <laughs> Bro, I was slapping. Uh, yeah, for real. On your live stream. One rapper checked the streamer for dissing his dead brother. And NLE Chopper almost smoked the streamer for stealing his money. These are rappers who check YouTubers and streamers. And we gotta start off with Mayno, because Mayno is an older rapper. And a YouTuber named Booba tried joking around with Mayno like he could beat him up and take his chain. Because Booba goes up to Mayno to interview him. Mayno lets Booba know not to say anything crazy since he is already not in the best mood. But Booba starts the interview off by talking crazy since he said his objective is to snatch some chains. I came over here. I'm like, right now, don't say nothing crazy though. No, I'm 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 just don't saying like I came crazy. over here like my objective over here today was to you know what I'm saying snatch some chains. You feel what I'm saying? Like I already you should I try that. No, I'm saying you I already should I, really try. I, Booba keeps joking around. So Mayno goes on to ask him if he wants his moment, since he doesn't chill with all the trolling. That's when Booba starts stuttering and continues asking crazy questions. Wait, why, why, so why they keep looking at me like that? Like, they're making me feel a type of you way. Want, you want your moment, right? Huh? You want your moment, right? Wait, what, what you mean you gonna get it? No, 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 no. I guarantee you gonna no, get it. No, not like that. I'm just saying, I like... I guarantee you gonna get it. So I look, swear on everything I love, so, you so, gonna get I, your moment. All right, so wait. So let me borrow nice. your chain. Let me be, borrow your chain. Be nice. I can't be borrow nice. your chain? You can... Not, I can't borrow your chain? You wanna borrow my chain? Yeah, let me let, let me borrow it. Let me let me put on your chain so I can see how it feels. Mayno warned Booba multiple times to chill out. And you could easily tell he was getting annoyed since Booba was wasting his time. But that's when Booba asked Mayno a question about how bad he would whoop him. And that's when things went left because he does this next. Alright, look, look, quick question, right? Now Hold on, now right, look, 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 quick question, right? On a scale of one to ten, right? How badly, right? You think I could like beat your oh, 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 oh. I'm going to tell you right now, man. Sometimes you just can't play with people like that, man. You just can't get at them like that, man. You can't be asking them all types of questions, even though I don't think that should be somebody putting hands on you or something like that, though. But, like, if you come to me and you say, how badly uh, do you think I can beat your tail, I'm going to take that as a threat, you know what I'm saying? You say certain things, I'm going to go ahead and get defensive and uh get ready for you know for whatever's gonna come or matter matter of fact there's some people out there that's just gonna go ahead and uh you push the envelope they're gonna throw it and stuff it in your mouth i'm not that type of person i don't want to be around that type of energy and while doing that you can hear him say to booba um, Didn't I tell you not to play with me? You have to be careful when playing with uh, some people because everyone doesn't have the same sense of humor. And streamer Aiden Ross had to learn this the hard way because one day he decided to link up with Moneybag Yo. While they are together, Aiden is freestyling with Zayas and Moneybag and everything starts off smooth. Moneybag is vibing and trying to show Aiden how to freestyle. Just look at my wrist like, like, ah, come on, I gotta catch you. Day, Aiden then tries pranking Moneybag, so he says something sus to him during the freestyle. That's when Moneybag looks confused and tells Aiden that he's BSing. Just look at my wrist, I got time today. Moneybag, you look so fine today. What? Yeah, pull up wine and red. I got blue on me. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm gonna let your plan. Huh? Moneybag was dead serious and not rocking with the sus jokes since everyone doesn't like joking that way. So Aiden asks for one more chance and he starts freestyling on another beat a few seconds later. But this time, he says some more off the wall stuff to Moneybag later into the freestyle. But Bag lets that one slide. Dead serious. Okay. I will do it again. I got you. I got you. One more chance. That's all I ask. Try again, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. Come on. Oh, I didn't mean to say that either, bro. Money bag, you going crazy, sir. I like it. I compliment you because you are killing it. You're gonna have to buy me a purse, but not that's a purse. Wait, stop, wait, 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 wait. Aiden then asks for one more. Like, these streamers, they be playing with these rappers because they think they saw, they think they like industry made, you know what I'm saying? Like, they put them in there. Like they they trying to they trying to really test to see if they really like that. Sometimes I used to, I used to think that this was all like a skit, you know what I'm saying? To give you I don't know who knows who knows. Or beat and does the same thing again. And this time, money bag swings at him to make him chill out with all of those weird jokes and walks out since he doesn't play around that way. Give me like just give me something quick like uh huh. Bone says I was a jit. Grab a toothpick. Grab it. Twist it. Like it's a. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, 
you know what I feel like too. Like, some of you guys already know how I feel with this whole P Diddy thing going on. You know what I'm saying? I tell like a lot of my homies the same thing. And these people that get up in these industries, when they sign that dotted line, they have to bend over and go ahead and take it. That's how I feel. And so like, I feel like they already used to that. You know what I'm saying? They already feel like they already used to that. Or maybe they feel like they ain't had to really want to go through that. He probably is like, man, I really done been through that. I don't want to have to go through that. Yeah. Wait, wait. No, no. But that ain't nothing because this next rapper completely went off on a streamer for trying to steal some of his money. One day, Aiden Ross was doing a big stream and he decided to bring I Show Speed and Izzy Prime on his stream since he was going to have NLE Choppa and his friends there. During the stream, NLE Choppa and everyone were dancing since the views on the stream were going crazy. But in the middle of dancing, NLE Choppa and one of his rapper friends from Memphis named Lil 100 started throwing money on speed to hype things up even more. That's when the streamer Prime started picking the money up off the ground and 100 and Choppa tell Prime to put the money down. And they need all that back since it's their money. <laughs> Well, Honey keeps telling Prime to put all his money back on the ground since he had no business picking it up. And that's when things start to get heated because Prime gets mad saying he didn't touch their money. Everyone then starts laughing at Prime while he's getting checked. That's when Prime tells 100 that he's from the south side of Chicago. But 100 lets Prime know he doesn't care where he's from and he doesn't play about his money. Hey, I'm from Chicago, from the south. Man, I don't know where you from. I'm from Jordan Downs. 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 I'm from
Easy. We both ain't. Cause I don't know. I, I don't know who no people think I am. Thankfully, Prime left before things got too bad because 100 was willing to take it there. But that isn't the only time someone checked Izzy Prime. In August 2023, Aiden Ross started talking with Charleston White and fans were rocking with the two. So Aiden planned a trip to Vegas for him and Charleston. Prime was also invited since he and Aiden are close friends. During the trip, Charleston and Prime constantly had small disagreements with each other. But while they were out to eat, that's when things took a turn. Because Prime calls Charleston White Rainbow due to something that he had done in the past. Charleston then asked Prime why is he worried about what he does with his Jimmy. Why are you worried about it though? Prime, oh, Prime. Prime. Come on. Charleston then asked why Prime even jumped in the conversation if Aiden was asking him a question. This, question, yes. this man just yes. asked me a straight up question. Yes. This yes. come yes. jump in. This come jump in. This come jump in and go to talking on my but I'm what you talking about my for? What you talking about my for? You. Prime then gets pissed and lets Charleston know that he's not playing with him. Charleston tells Prime that he's not playing with him either. Yo, this stuff and the two continue. This stuff is funny, but it's not funny though, man. I don't know, man. They just, I feel like they just, they entertainment. They, of course, they place two people that they know is going to fight. They know that it's going to bring entertainment. They know they're going to bring drama, drama, sex, murder, all that bull. You know, sales. Everybody knows this is what sells on TV, and this is what gets the views. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of this sus thing going on in Hollywood right now. All this stuff is demonic. I ain't lying. This carries spirits, and it comes through the TV, and it jumps on people, and it gets you thinking the same way. You think it's funny to play with your friends like that, but hey, some people it's gonna take it serious later down the road. If you know what I mean. You arguing for a few more seconds before things take a turn. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you then. You. <laughs> Charleston then starts calling Prime all types of names since Prime called him Rainbow. Prime tells Charleston to watch how he talks to him. So Charleston then stands up over Prime, asking him what he is going to do since he wants to act so tough with him. You in the mud though, but you in the mud though. Watch how you go. You watch how much you go. You came and jumped in. You ain't gonna do that. You gonna do that. You better get that way. What you gonna do? You gonna get your knife? I know what to do. Then I'm gonna throw the knife. Once Charleston starts checking Prime, he asks Aiden to get Charleston away from him since he didn't want to risk getting maced or poked up by Charleston. And I'm gonna spray it too. Keep talking. I'm gonna spray it like you gonna do something. You ain't gonna do a mother. Charleston then lets Aiden know that he's going to leave the stream since Prime wanted to be the center of attention before he had to do something to Prime. Prime then went live on IG after the situation took place. Since people were saying he ruined the stream and he said the only reason he didn't touch him was due to him having the mace. You can go watch it. He stood up over me because I called him and he, he like, you a punk. And I was stood up. All I did was stood up then he, he got the mace. When he got the mace, that's the threat. I'm like, bro, I ain't did then, not long after that, fans found out that Aiden and Prime had called the police on Charleston White to have him removed from the hotel since they didn't want Charleston actually harming Prime. But they pressured me by being a snitching. Oh. He been blowing your all day. He like calling cops. What kind of He been blowing me a Europe man, been blowing me, then called the police on me. Yeah, Prime and called the police on me. So I threatened him with weapon, man. Now, let's move on to Neon, because That's Neon is a streamer people. who always acts tough online and talks crazy. Until one day, he ended up running into one of the people he was acting crazy towards and got checked. Because Neon kept doing a disrespectful drill dance named Naughty Bop that makes fun of a 14-year-old rapper who got stabbed in a train station in New York. And the dance was created by Naughty's Ops to disrespect him. Fans told Neon to chill while doing the dance multiple times, since he isn't from the streets and shouldn't be making fun of the dead. That's when Naughty's brother, Didi Osama, saw a clip of Neon and asked him if he could stop disrespecting his dead brother. But Neon didn't listen. So one day, Didi got Neon's location and tried jumping Neon and his manager. Neon! I'm gonna tell you what this is all. Just kids that's having like single moms raise them up in they in they in they in they house, man. There's no father figure to guide Didi young kids that are just willing to let their emotions run rampant and just get crazy and do the type of things that they do 
to other people. You know what I'm saying? They let words dictate how they're going to act in life. You know what I'm saying? Something so far as a dumbass dance, you're going to let, you know, dictate your, your, you know what I'm saying? Your mental to make you go after somebody, maybe shoot them up, a stab them, do something to them so that you end up in prison. This, this is all like, okay, of course, entertainment. They, they pushing this dude Neon to do those type of things for views so that the views can go up and then start putting money in his pockets, of course, putting money in his manager's pockets and so on, man. This is all like demonic, bro. This is what people want to see, you know? Of course, man. Of course. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Neon ended up getting away to avoid getting hurt. But three months after the incident, Neon bumped into Didi and made him apologize for doing the dance, making fun of his dead brother. Listen, listen, I just want to tell you this, baby boy, like, you, like, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. you, you not from the streets, baby boy. Like, mm -hmm. you, you's really, like, you was really a nerd, baby boy. You was oh. really a nerd, baby boy. Oh. I'm trying to tell you, like, look, you good? look, 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 I'm not trying, I'm not trying to say nothing yeah. about you, but like, you're not from the streets, baby. Boy. Neon was scared, and his security guard was on standby, since they didn't want Didi doing anything to Neon. But he let Neon know he didn't want to hurt him. He just wanted him to apologize, since he's dissing someone he doesn't know. Because, like, you know my heart, like, my mom be on the gram watching. I want to apologize. That's her too, bro. It's not, it's not right what I did, bro. You gotta apologize to my mom, my fans, my everything. It's not even about that even, my heart. It's just about, it's a, you're not even in the streets to be even I my I, brother. It was back in the day. I didn't realize what I was doing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Wu, it's not even, yo. Why you not paying attention so to I'm, like, I'm nervous, you know bro. how I feel right now? I feel like slapping the sh And that wasn't the only time Neon got checked by a rapper. But this time, things were way worse. This time, Neon was out doing a stream with Ruby Rose. And at some point during the stream, they went to the studio. And while they were in the studio, Inali Chopper pulled up. And this is when things got tense. Chopper was pissed at Neon since some of Neon's fans got Chopper's show canceled and caused him to miss out on money. That's when they cut the cameras off. And Chopper lets Neon know that he messed up his concert. So he owes him the money he would have made from the show due to that happening. Hey, bro, you still one of my shows, bro. Your show? Yes, man. Wait, what did I do? You was outside or something. I was supposed to be gone. And then they seen that you was on live and they raided the whole hotel and the whole show got canceled. Then you swatted. No it. way. He got it swatted on God can even perform. <laughs> I was supposed to get paid. So bad too, so you look, he owe me some money. And as they were driving away, you could hear Neon's security guard say that one of NLE Chopper's partners up the Draco on Neon's people. Since they were pissed, they lost a lot of money with the show getting canceled. Big black thing that was in the room with you, the heavy one? What our Draco? Come here, Sneeko. I can't, I, I didn't say bye. And Neon might need to stop linking up with rappers because there's no telling how far some rappers will go if he gets their show canceled or trolls their dead people. But Neon isn't the only streamer who got checked by. Now that, that's so true, man. You can't play with a bunch of people like that, man. You you can't keep on playing with, you know, these streamers, bro. They take it so much to an extreme. But my thing, you want to act like a man. You want to you want to be a man. You want to you want to troll. You know what I'm saying? Certain dudes. I mean, when things get down like that, you need to stand up and be a man and, and handle yours. You know what I'm saying? You can't let somebody, you know, press you like that. I mean, you want to start trouble, man, you better be ready to back it up, though. Rapper for dissing the dead. Because Sneeko was streaming one day and listening to the New York drill. And while rapping the song, he disses a dead person from New York named Jay Rip. So one day, New York drill rapper C Blue linked up with Aiden Ross. And they were doing a jail stream. Sneeko was also there. So once C Blue noticed Sneeko, he instantly checked him for dissing Jay Rip and made him apologize for speaking on him. I'm gonna need a personal apology. Just apologize, bro. Real you did He's talking about you him, talking about me. For me, person, I got tatted right here. For me, 13 year old means I lost for me to the street. I just need a for apology. For me. I didn't diss anybody. Yeah, you did. Who? You said um, you were singing a song for me. You say you're smoking on J Rip type. Bro, let me tell you what though. I'm not apologizing for a song that was written that a hundred thousand, a million, two, three million, probably a hundred other million people are singing. Bro, you're not gonna make me apologize. Or you should not make anybody apologize. You should make the record company apologize if anybody has to apologize. It, it, this world is just, it's, it's just too soft. Everybody's just too 
soft these days, bro. Ready to do whatever it takes over some words, bro. You ready to kill this dude. You and your homies ready to go to jail for real. Ready to go to prison for real over saying, you know, F this J Rock or whoever the hell this little kid is, bro. He's dead. He's gone. He ain't worried about that. He ain't worried about that, man. Just yeah, it's in a song, bro. You know what I'm saying? People rap the song and oh, he said the N word. Oh, he said the G word. Oh, he said the R word. Why not censor the song? Why not try your best to get the song censored? It's our, it's gone. It's already. You know what I'm saying? This man don't know your problem. I, the stupidity. I'm sorry to pause the video so long. The stupidity of these people. The stupidity of people these days, man. I could go on about the stupidity with all this. I just learned last week about two or three weeks ago. There's over 3,200 genders. 3,200 genders. The stupidity of these people. My God. I already, right after I said that, I apologize. Oh, I bet. You saw it in the clip. No, 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 I didn't. Thankfully, C. Blue handled the situation in a mature way and didn't flash out on Sneeko. But I can't say the same about the next person because YouTuber prankster White Dolomite saw Boosie while he was shopping in Walmart and tried acting tough with him. Now, that was funny. That was funny, though. I mean, man, that was funny. I don't think it, it deserved a smack, though. But you guys didn't already see it. Ain't no way nobody already seen, ain't seen this video. Since he knew that it'll go viral. But things didn't go as planned for the prankster. Dolomite pulls up on Boosie and his crew and tells Boosie to hand him something off the shelf in a racist way. Boy, I said hand it to me now. Oh, boy. Boosie, I'm the real bad Boosie was confused at first <laughs> since he couldn't believe what was going on and his crew tried telling the prankster to chill out since they really do something to him. Seconds later, one of the dudes with Boosie smacks the prankster up since he was going too far. Dolomite then calls the cops on Boosie and his people and tries getting them arrested since they hit him. Dolomite tried pulling the same prank on T.I. and Trey the Truth because they were out working on something. And Dolomite pulled up on them and started talking to them in a racist manner. Here, stop taking these pictures here, boy, in my building. Hey, what are you guys doing here, boy? You, are you Lord. You could tell everyone was confused. And that's when he grabbed the prankster by the neck and let him know that they don't play with any of the racist jokes. Boy, ain't nobody yeah, boy, man. yeah, these are some hard times. Hey, man, racism is still relevant. I mean, I'm, I've been through it. I feel like I'm still going through it. I mean, good gracious, man. It's still relevant. These are some really crazy times right now. Two, two, I mean, two zero, 24 is, is really crazy. It's, it's really crazy. Like, I, I can believe this right here. I don't believe this is a skit. It's like Bob the Builder. What you talking about? Boy, what you say, boy? No, the boy stuff, bro. Hold on, hold on, man. But that, prank, bro. But we don't it's play with the boy with it's the it's racist stuff. Trey then lets Dolomite know that he needs to find another way to try and go viral, since the racist stuff is going to end up getting him hurt. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, hey, I don't know what you trying to do, go Bob. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm we, we on positive vibe. It's a prank, it's a joke, Look, if this how you trying to go viral, bro, that's hurt out here, man. You can't cut it. Hold on, bro, and I ain't nobody's boy, man. Go about your business, man. It's, What's it's your name? White Dolomite. This ain't the way to go about it, bro. Now, let's move on to Quando Rondo. Hey, a lot of people don't know. I think Dolomite is really black, though. He's just like a really shade of, 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 of white skin. Like, for real. He's like a really shade of white skin. Because a YouTuber named That Boy Q was in the mall testing people's diamonds to see if they were real. He ran into Quando and wanted to test his chain. But he wanted to pull a camera trick on Quando. So he turned the tester off to make it seem like Quando's chain was fake. And Quando felt some type of way about this. Test my chain. Are you diamond testing the chain? No, it ain't doing that, is it? <laughs> Man, love, bro. Quit playing with me, man. <laughs> no, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm Huh? The guy lets Quando know that he's trolling. But Quando warns the YouTuber that he could get murked for playing that way. Got that fake <laughs> diamond test. <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all. Nah. 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 y'all playing. Get murked like oh, yeah. that. 
After Quando said that, the YouTuber stopped talking and agreed with Quando. You could tell his whole energy changed after he was checked for doing that. And you gotta be careful with who you invite over to your house mm -hmm. because streamer Jack Dorothy decided to. I don't believe Quando Rondo for nothing, bro. I, I'm sorry, man. That dude, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, this dude is uh, something. I ain't gonna say too much, man, because supposedly he took one of my homeboy's songs, man, and tried to make it his own, man. And, and it, I can't really speak too much on that right now until I ask one of my homies, is everything through legally? You know, I ain't gonna say, I already said too much. I ain't gonna say too much on that. Rondo, Rondo, whoever that is, though. But it, it, I don't know, man. Just whatever. To invite Rich the Kid and some of his people over to do a rapper streamer collab. While Rich the Kid wasn't the one who pressed Jack, one of his partners did, because Rich's partner's girlfriend ended up losing her expensive hoodie in Jack's crib. So Rich the Kid's partner started pressing Jack since he was pissed about his girlfriend losing her $1,000 hoodie. Wait, how okay, mean, bro, I, was every, I was on watching the whole time. That's my point, so take that out there, because now is not the time to play. Bro, we're not playing that. My hoodie is like gone. Bro, what? Yeah, what? Are you good? Are you lost? You good? No. Listen, what you mean? He ain't yeah, playing you know, either. It's not a game. Well, somebody fucking. Jack was scared and confused, and Rich the Kid homie forced Jack to leave the room and try to go find the hoodie, since he said if he didn't find it, he was going to slap. Man, let me tell you about Jack, man. This dude is a troublemaker. Everybody knows, man. He likes to start trouble, and what he likes to do after he starts the trouble, he'll run to security or the police, try to get them involved. Like, he's, like, been doing this to go viral, to build his, you know what I'm saying, himself up to, ah, uh, man, like, ah. Uh, Social media, sometimes I just turn my phone off, I turn my computer off, and I just sit in a dark room and just stare at whatever because social media, TV just gives me this big ass headache that it just, I don't know, man. It's, it's what's killing the world, man. It's what's killing the world right now. Stop him. Figure out who did it. Bro, there's no way you're pressing you about the hoodie. There's no way. Figure it out. There's no way. Figure it out. It sounds like you took the hoodie. Yeah, I know. You're acting like that. No, I was slapping. Uh, yeah, for where? On your live stream. Things don't stop there either, because after the hoodie situation, Rich the Kid took one of Jack Dorothy's friend's car keys and drove off in it to disrespect them, since they were pissed about the missing hoodie. And that ain't the only time Jack had problems with the rapper, because one day, he had the Island Boys at his house. They were arguing with each other, and one of the Island Boys swung at Jack, since Jack was talking hard to him. Now, let's move on to NBA Young Boys homies. Island Boys. The Island Boys. <sighs> D Dog and Who Gang D because D Dog and Who Gang D were walking down the street when a YouTuber came up to them with a camera and said this to them. In the real street. What up? Real street. What about? What that mean? D Dog and Who Gang D ain't know what was going on. And then the YouTuber says, I like your chain. What that mean? What that mean? I'm the original chain. I'm the original chain snatcher. All right. What that mean? I'm a real street. D-Dog and Who Gang D started walking off, but the YouTuber started following them. That's when D-Dog let him know he'll smoke him right there in broad daylight. Hey, no, no, much love, much love. Oh, no, God bless you. Martin Luther King, bro, I love you, brother. <laughs> no, I'm not a comedian. And D-Dog is the last person a civilian should try and mess with because he was arrested for murder at 14 years old. Not too long ago, he was charged in an attempted murder case because when the cops tried pulling him over, D-Dog got into a high-speed chase that ended with him crashing and killing his homie, who was in the passenger seat. Police found guns and ski masks in the car, and D-Dog's bail was set at an insane $19.7 million after receiving those nine new charges. So it's a good thing the YouTuber Steven Joe turned around and left when he did because ain't no telling what would have happened happen if he tried to keep yeah you can't really mess with too many people man like especially like i said these days man everybody's strapped even the kids man they everybody's carrying 2a man i know i got it i know i got it legally i'm just saying man I, it's like becoming the wild wild west again days getting crazy and the by the way for speaks of it man it's getting worse every year every year is getting worse
acting tough with him. But that isn't the only time Steve and Joe mess with the wrong rappers. Because top-notch idiots almost got smoked for messing with Swifty Blue. Swifty Blue is a rapper from LA, known for songs like Cuerno de Chivo and Swap for Swap with Kodak Black. But back in September 2022, a video started going around of a YouTube comedian trying to press Swifty while he was chilling in the parking lot. The YouTuber came up and asked Swifty. Hey, chilling? chilling? Hey, bro, uh, where's the nearest subway over here? I'm not from out here, that's why. Uh, Looks like you know up. a lot of directions, my boy. You trying to get dropped or what? Hey. Swifty felt disrespected, so we squared up with the YouTuber and said, what you, mean, get you look like a type of guy that wants to get dropped, my boy. What the you, mean? you know who I am? I don't care who you are, bro, but the way your image is, it looks like you're trying to get dropped or what? Back up, bro. Back up with all that. You know who the fuck I am? Where you from, matter of fact? Where you from? Earth. Where you, you, what? I live on yeah, Earth. Why are you, hey, chill out, bro. It's a video. It's a video. It's a chill out, bro. The YouTuber. Man, let me tell you what, man. I used to watch Top Notch Idiots back in the day, man. They used to make me laugh so hard, but right lately, man. They just been, I don't know, messing with the fake stuff. You guys remember Vitaly, man? He's been caught so many times doing the whole fake thing. And with them, I can't even tell what is fake.